Hey guys, it's your girl with Sass Lips. I'm coming to you guys today because I want to dye my hair. I want to dye my hair red. Because y'all know my hair is dark brown. It's natural. And I've dyed my hair before as far as box dye one time. And I used L'Oreal, which was great too. But I wanted to do Revlon because Revlon had this color. L'Oreal's color was so a little bit darker red. And I wanted red that would pull through to my hair. Not so bright like a freaking crayon. <laughs> But bright enough, um, so we're gonna do this. It's Revlon 150 in red, it's the color silk luminista. Um, it's was it vibrant for vibrant color for dark hair? Okay, and here is the color chart. Like I said, I am I have dark brown hair, so I will be here, but my hair is darker than this, so I'm, the red will turn out. A little bit darker so that it will be good that's why I went with this one so I'm nervous um, I'm really nervous and what else I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put foil on my hair and I say that because um, just so I can pull the red out more as far as the red showing in my hair um, yeah because last time I went with a shade lighter than my hair maybe a shade and a half lighter and um it just was not um it was you could tell you could tell my hair definitely changed but it wasn't like oh wow she dyed her hair so which was good because i really didn't want anybody to know if i dyed my hair and i did that when i was in high school so i'm going to read the directions always read the directions i wanted to do this with you guys because um, i haven't done a video in a long time on YouTube. I've done videos, but then I delete them because I'm not happy with them. So yeah, that's how those go. Okay, so let's read. And it comes with gloves. Okay, mix. So it says put on <sighs> coloring gloves. Snip off the tip of the creme color developer applicator um, as shown. Which is this here. We're gonna cut this tip off. Then remove applicator cut, uh, cap from bottle. Pour all the ammonium free colorant um, developer in the bottle, which is ooh, this here. We're gonna pour. We're gonna pour the brown bottle in here. Which is pretty good. Okay. Alright. Replace the applicator cap securely. Place glove glove finger over top tip, pointing away from you. Shake vigorously until mixture is totally blended. No color of mixture during application development is not the final color result. Part your hair into four equal sections. As shown and secure each section with a, with a plastic cap especially if your hair is long or that plastic oh plastic clip okay unclip each okay so um, probably shouldn't scratch your hair you know how they say you shouldn't scratch your hair when you um, get relaxer so I'm gonna actually take the gloves off Come on. Because I don't know what I'll do if it doesn't turn out the way I want it, or if I, if you know, not the way I want it, or if I would like it. Period. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do it. So, part your hair in fours. I have not detangled. I have not tangled at all. The true test will be if my um, if my hair, as far as the texture wise, um, will change or not. I'll be right back.
I was looking for clips, but I don't have any. I do, but I just don't know where they are. Okay. 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 Snip. I need to slip. Where's my scissors? Can y'all tell I'm not prepared for this? Okay, hold on. Sorry, y'all. I found it. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Yo. Please don't mind. <sighs> okay. I found an extra clip. Okay. Put your gloves on. I had to feed my dog, so that's what I'm saying. Okay, so snip off the tip of the creme color developer application. Whoop! Mm. Okay, and then it says. from the bottle. And then pour the ammonium free colorant into the into the developer bottle. This should have like a freaking spot for this. So you can squeeze it in there instead of pouring. So be careful. Oh, this was three eighty something at Walmart. I should have bought two. I mean, my baby has head. Ooh, child, I should have bought two. I'm nervous, y'all. Nervous. Okay. You know it says. Ooh, replace the applicator cap. Securely place the glove. Okay, so. Okay. Put a finger over the tip and point it away from your face. 
and shake vigorously until make sure it's totally blended. How you know when it's fully blended? How do you know when it's totally blended, y'all? Oh. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm playing with my hair now. I'm going to shake this up. Shake it up, shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Done. Okay. Switch finger. My left hand is so weak. Shake up the bottom, y'all. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. I think that's good. Whew, what is this? Oh, I have to call a condition. Part your hands with four equal sections as shown and secure each section with a plastic clip, especially if your hair is long. Unclip one section of hair, then use the applicator tip to make half an inch, approximately three centimeters apart and through the rest of the sections. Excuse me, and apply mixture to root area to the root area of each part. Do not rub mixture into scalp. Repeat on three remaining sections. <sighs> if this, if this is your first time calling, or if you're using shades, uh -huh, uh -huh, call. Oh, ooh, child! If this is your first time calling, or if you are using shades 145, 150, which is what I'm using, I'm using 150. Oh uh, my, oh comb or gently work remaining mixture through the rest of your hair. Touch your hair completely from root to tip. If you have long hair, pile loosely on hand. Leave on for 25 minutes. Oh, man. Oh. There we go. Woo! Oh, child. Woo! Nervous, y'all. Nervous. Right now, I just want to get it on the hair. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, cha. Ooh, and then come back and actually, uh, like, work it in there, so. You really don't need that much in this section, I guess.
Okay, now I need to see what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Whoa. I got it on my chest. On my chest. Okay. So, I already got it on my chest. Fudge. Okay. I don't have thick hair, um, but I have a lot of hair. So I'm dispersing it lightly. Um, I just don't want to waste. Just don't feel like going back to one. Like tap my head on. You know what I mean, y'all. Uh... Okay, I can tell already this is not gonna work. Um so I'm gonna actually put foil on it. like a leaching process but coating leaching process yeah this is not working and you cannot tell that I am coloring my hair
That's why they say bleach your hair, right? Mm -hmm. This is quite stupid. <laughs> oh shit! I'm about to get real lazy right now. Oh crap. I think I'm running out. Color with me, y'all. Color with me. Should have done the front of my hair. <laughs> First. Oh my god. Can y'all tell the difference? Nah, you can't. Should have gotten a brighter red. Oh well. to the front. Put a line, a squirt on each. Oh, oh, that ain't even touch shit.
Okay, I, I dropped color somewhere. Don't know where. But it happened. I'm trying to hurry up. Close. Oh, my last section. I don't want to run out of product. So. My teeth are going to be red.
Okay, so I just finished the sections. Healthy hint. Apply to dry and clean hair. Do not shampoo immediately before coloring. If hair is very soft, heavy, build up, it's stunning, whatever. Generally using other products, if your hair is prime or relaxed, blah, 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 blah. wait at least 14 days before using rubber. Blah, blah. If you're recon or retouching your hair, I'm not. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna go get the foil.
I'll process my hair. Now these people don't say nothing about no foil. My ass does. I'll be back. Yeah, I touched the hair. Foil. I'm going to get some more foil. It doesn't tell you how long you should keep it in your hair. It really does not tell you. Anyways, I'm gonna let this mother cook. Uh, I might actually put on my heating cap, maybe, 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 I don't know, I might let that heat up. Yeah. When that's done, I'll come back and show you guys the final um, results. Now I will show you guys the final results. So I think this is pretty cool. I don't have enough color. Um, it's cold here in Kansas. So I will talk to you guys later. It might be a part two video. It's already 42 minutes long. Bye y'all.